Today on the CO2 project, we're gonna install this light sensor. Now the light sensor, what we're gonna do is modify it first. We're going to take the actual sensor bit off. Now I'm gonna try and solder it off, but it doesn't actually work. So I ended up having to cut it and basically solder cable onto the ends of it. Put some heat shrink on it. And then what we have is the sensor running through a long cable to the actual sensor board itself. What I'm going to do next is put it into the scrubber enclosure. Now find a spot where I'm going to install it and do something similar to the web camera where I put that perspex screen. Now what I've done is drilled a hole on the inside as well. I've got the sensor board sitting in the little container which I'm going to do for the moment. Cable runs all the way along. I've hot glued the cable down all the way up to where the actual sensor bit is actually goes through and you can see it there underneath the perspex. So it'll pick up the sunlight and transfer the signal down through to the actual uh, controller unit. Now, the thing is, is that because I've cut the actual sensor off the board and extended it with a wire, it's gonna add in a little bit of resistance with that cable. Now, the resistance will change what this, the actual output will be but with all of these lighting or light sensors, you need to actually adjust the setting first with that potentiometer and that will actually calibrate it to make sure that it's set up uh, how it should be. Calibration will do, I'm thinking what I'll do is all of the sensors will need to be calibrated and go through all that. I'll do that all in one episode at some point. Now, if you wanna know how to actually set up and code this sensor, go check out the other video that I created and for this video, make sure you like, subscribe so you can keep up to date with the CO2 project. Thanks again for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.